Well, you asked for it, so it's time for a mystery closet mystery box review. Something from the Hot Wheel Room closet that doesn't normally get displayed, as most of the collection does. But uh, today we're going to focus on one of the many boxes which is in this closet of... Well, there's a lot of stuff in here, but... Let's choose something. Something we haven't seen before. We'll move uh, move some of the stuff aside. And uh, choose a box. How about this one? Oh, don't fall off there now. There's a box. No, not that one. Matchbox Super King Trucks. Oh, this is a heavy one. Might be because it's got a couple cases on top of it. All of which are full. But today, I mean, actually need two hands. Ooh, this is a heavy box. Matt Fragile, the ancient toy cars, super kings, and yesteryears. Ancient, yeah. All right, well, let's see what's inside this. Pull up a chair, take a seat. Oh, boy, oh, boy. we got some oldies in here. We've got some Lesneys by the looks of it. We've got some Matchbox. Some Majorette. Let's start by making a little bit of room here. Okay, we got the whole table now. First truck out. Petro can. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with the scale here, let's get a regular Hot Wheels. There's a regular sized Hot Wheel. And we can see the scale is quite appropriate of this Majorette vehicle. Let's get another one out of the mystery box. The SO truck. Great detail on these Majorette trucks. By far, I think these are way better than the Hot Wheel steering rigs because they're actually 164 scale they've got opening hoods uh, they're hard to come by but when you do boy do they ever make a real addition to your collection I, I like the Hot Wheels steering rigs but these trucks to me they say dominance you know they're big trucks Push that Plymouth right out of the way. BP. More opening hoods. I always grew up with Majorette. Being a Canadian, Majorette was pretty easy to come by. Mind you, this collection of minty transport trucks I bought from a seller, maybe a couple of sellers in the UK. What else we got in here? Some paper. Well, here's an oldie, but a goodie. Look at that. So old, the tires have split on it. Dinky. The cool thing is, is that these are actually the same scale as the rest of the vehicles. They're in line, the proper size of trucks. missing the tire. Uh, what else we got? This is a cool. Oh, this is a cool one. This would have been used to haul tanks or something. Maybe some Plymouths. You just never know. 
Anyways, it's missing a couple tires. It's not mint, but the stories, if it could tell. Here we have a matchbox. Uh, well, it's made by Lesney, made in England. What the heck was that? We seem to have lost a tire off of the. Uh, yep. We lost a tire off that one. Good old junkyard vehicle, I suppose. This tow truck will not be towing anything to the junkyard, though, since it has no tires. But just a really cool, heavy, heavy piece. I mean, these are heavy, heavy old dinkies here. Well, we got a whole random assortment of things here. Here's a newer tractor I bought. I just really liked it because it was uh, 164 scale and. You know, it's just a really cool piece. It's all, it's all, everything moves. There's a wicked Ford uh, F-250. Again, I only really buy things that are 164 scale as we compare it to this Hot Wheel. Um... The helicopters, yeah, I'm a helicopter pilot, but they're not the right scale, so they're not of an extreme interest to me. This Ford F-150 is Harley-Davidson edition. Goes quite nicely with the rest of the vehicles that I have. Continuing on, we've got a snow plow of some sort missing front tires and it's plow by the looks of it just a really nice piece though it's just a big heavy truck and it's got all sorts of things in here this is probably going to be a long video looks like there's one more layer but come on should we open all these or let's just, you know what, let's forgo the paper. Those are some Mr. M's that are going to remain a mystery and let's see what else is underneath here. What else have we got? We've got some old uh, Matchbox or Majorette trailers. Another Exxon fuel type trailer. We've got some car haulers. This thing weighs about five pounds. They didn't, don't make toys like they used to. Mystery vehicle. Uh, there's a flatbed. What else we got in here? A cab for the flatbed. X. Oh, that's for the. Uh, that's for the tanker. That's for the Exxon tanker. We've got uh, some sort of. Cargo trailer. More mystery vehicles and paper. Strange fire truck. I had this as a kid. This is actually a childhood toy here. The cement mixer. When you roll it. Well, if the middle axle was touching something, it would it would roll. Oh, that looks to be another one. Got two cement mixers. I custom painted this dump truck. It was originally red, and I do remember smashing that window out when I was a child. I've had this dump truck a very long time. I distinctly remember watching Die Hard. Uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance, perhaps? It was the second Die Hard. And, uh, it, well, maybe it wasn't. The one with the dump trucks in it where they're driving through the tunnel. And I, after I watched that movie, I remember painting this thing with some testers and uh, jamming a pencil through the windshield. Not probably the wisest thing I ever did to my collectible vehicles, but it was fun at the time. 
Got a whole bunch of car carriers here. We need to split this video up. Uh, we've got some. Just a ton of these trucks. There's trucks everywhere. Trucks, trucks, trucks. Trucks missing tires, trucks missing wheels. Definitely a crap load of trucks. We've got uh, Yatming. These are Yatming trucks. 164 scale. Revert back to the Hot Wheel here for our scale analysis of the 164 scale trucks. Just plentitude, a plentitude of trucks. We've got everything in here. Old Ford cab. Now this one here is cool. I'd like to get this one to unwrap. I think we'll end the video on this one because this video would be too long if I have to open all of these paper wrapped vehicles. I should have had these unwrapped for you, but seeing as a mystery video, mystery box video, it wouldn't have been authentic if I had to open the video, open the vehicles. I'm sure we're not losing any little rubber tires there. What we've got here is a 1960s. Lesney car, car carrier. Quite a nice piece. Dual. It's missing one tire. Certainly I could uh, replace that tire if I needed to. And as you can see, it's perfect. Perfect scale for all things Hot Wheel. This Hot Wheel is a uh, well. I'm not sure what it's from. It's a Plymouth Grand Fury, and as you can see, it is a 164 scale Hot Wheel, and it does quite nicely next to all of these vehicles. Hence, why I have labeled the box. The 164 scale ancient treasures, or whatever the heck it was. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions? Uh, I'm happy to answer.